the crew was working very hard building set pieces for our show. In one scene, we need a bathtub, and so, as is theatrical device, we're not bringing a real bathtub. They've researched to find what bathtubs looked like in the latter half of that century, and they've created something that they've built from scratch. We built a basic structure of a bathtub, and I'm building it out with pieces of foam. And it's a lot of fun. It's sticky, um, but it's fun, and then we use the hot iron to carve it down. Um, we are just building a staircase, an escape stairs for Candide. And I'm doing this for my tech theater class. I think it's fun. I think it's cool to be part of a production like this. And it's like really hands on compared to most classes you take. Oh, gentlemen, I fear I no longer have a home. Indeed, I barely know where I am. With the need for Candy to travel to so many locations during the production, we needed a set that would transform. And our designer came up with the idea of creating a system of mini curtains that could be manipulated during the production to give the set a feeling of change and a new sense of place. But what can be the final cause? During an earthquake, the students shake them and you see this massive trembling effect on stage. This only works because of so many, many hours students spent um, hand dyeing the curtains, which um, needed to be an ombre effect from a lighter to a darker shade so that when we move them, they can have and give a different appearance depending on how they're lit. Why is this door locked? Open this door! One of the locations is a wealthy um, banker's home in Portugal. And so they've done some research and created some beautiful marbling effects by painting. And it can be a little thicker in some spots. It can come up through some of it. But then we'll add just that other layer of dimension. So it's pretty huge and it's pretty detailed. And I've never, I've never done anything like that. So it's been fun to learn. And Right now I'm working on painting the false proscenium. It's a 60 foot wide by over 20 foot tall um, centerpiece that frames the stage. So as you're looking at it from the audience, it's the picture frame that everybody's looking through. It's actually a flat surface that they're painting to look like a three-dimensional carving with images that are from all the stories and adventures that Candy takes during the show. This is great. It's everybody's dream to be able to paint something this big and, and detailed. And it's, it's a nice relaxing break from all the classes and stuff to be able to come in and to paint something this big, which is cool. We are setting up the majority of the set for Candide. These two guys don't actually get pulleys, they're permanently swagged for the entire okay. show. This is the only show, I've main stage show, that I've been able to do as a undergraduate here at the university. I've TD shows for the student productions and for the Nebraska Repertory Theater and some outside projects, but this is probably the largest scale show I've worked on so far. Load in is always a little exciting because uh, you finally see things fall into place after months of planning and drawings and uh, discussions and arguments and problem solving. It, it finally comes together and, uh, and you're hopefully proud of what you've accomplished.